Uh, okay, today's Friday. Uh, my pickups, 107 for the day. I'm going to be reasonably quick doing this today because uh, here's a quick pan at the snow. snow. It's snowing. I don't know if you can see the snow coming down. It's like a, a freaking winter wonderland out here. Anyway, 107 for today. Here's what I bought. Um, I don't know if she gave me a discount on this, but this is Fenton. And this looks like I'm assuming either a jelly or it came with this glass spoon. Um, probably like a sugar or, or some kind of condiment. I don't see any damage. It was only $6. That's a really good price uh, for Fenton glass. The only place I'll be able to sell that is on the internet. Um, <clears throat> actually, mine came to 17 at that house. Uh, so whatever's in here is 17 Then My wife spent 17 in jewelry, but I'm just going to clump all the jewelry together. Um, I got some sealed um, Fuji VHS tapes. I'm going to give them straight to my friend. Um, I got two of them. He puts, uh, he'll put that on eBay. I got a Calvin Klein uh, Obsession for Men aftershave, all for the 17. When I first asked about it, she had said five. Um, I think it's pretty full. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty full. Yeah. Okay, I don't, and I don't think it's linking or anything. That, uh, I don't know what that's worth, but it's easily worth it. Ugh. You hear that? That's me dropping glass on glass because I'm Russian. All right. Um, then I, I never heard of this one, but it's Jean Courtier. Uh, it's 12. It came with a box. Um, here. Like I said, everything was 17. She probably charged me five for this. I'm not familiar with this, but for five bucks, I'll roll a dice. Um, oh, and then I got some cassettes. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, I uh, forget that. And then I got this uh, Singapore Girl. I did not get any games today. That's why I'm not talking about games at all. Uh, Singapore, Singapore Girl by Dadi. Never heard of it. Um, it was all $17. So even if she charged me 5 for that. Um, I bought some cassettes. If you get sealed cassettes, they are sellable on um, eBay. And this one, these should be better because it says metal. And I'm just going to give these to my friend. All right? You can list these. I got three of those. And then I got this one. This one is not metal, but it was sealed, so I just got a figure and she'd round up to a dollar. And sometimes my friend can sell that kind of stuff too. Um, here's your jewelry. I'm going to do this in a separate video. And I'll go through this other stuff quick. All right. Uh, for $8, uh, my friend, this is at another sale. And uh, at, the, at that other sale, including jewelry, I think uh, this one I paid $30. For everything, I think. No, um, 40? Yeah, I paid 40. 40 for everything at, at this sale. Um, nativities. He likes nativities. Here's some small ones. But then um, these are Italian ones. And it was only $8. Uh, Italy. These are probably the uh, Reposé composition ones. Says Italy again. There's a manger. Uh, there is a baby Jesus in here. There's a cotton ball. That's Jesus' bed. Um, yeah, there's baby Jesus. That says Italy on it. So that's one, two, three. My friend can list these on eBay. Uh, made in Italy. And he usually gets... Uh, this is a shepherd carrying a lamb. Um, uh, looks like a... Uh, I don't know. Just a woodsman um, carrying lumber. And uh, this could be a wise man. I'm not really sure. Or just a general character. And then some more sheep. So he... <coughs> what my friend will probably do is he will sell each piece individually for 8 to $10 dollars. Uh, maybe more sometimes, and then he'll sell the sheep in a lot. So that's that. Okay. Uh, got some stuff for my own personal. Well, here I got some Elvis records. I got some records, not Elvis records actually, just some records. These are a buck a piece. This has two records in it. It was a dollar. I'm going to take this stuff to um, English Town, and depending on what they're worth, here's Fats Domino. The the records look nice for a dollar. Why do I care? You know, and I'll probably sell them like four dollars three for ten, unless they are worth considerably more. This one's nice and clean, so maybe that's worth more. Don't know. Dino Washington. I have some of her CDs. They're pretty expensive. And oh, uh, part of what I got at that that same was that a same sale or a different sale? No, that was a different sale. Actually, what I got was I got these plastic containers. I got this one. I got the green one, and then I got these three buckets. And I spent like ten dollars for that because the marbles were like. Uh, 20 so it was 30 all together uh, and then my wife also bought some jewelry let me just keep going through this um for a buck a piece got some dishwashing liquid 
uh, that stuff comes in handy, you know. They had a whole bunch of it, and I said to my wife, like, I said, how much you want to buy? And she's like, just, just get, you know, she didn't want to overdo it. I've done it with uh, issues and stuff like This is for my friend, uh, again, uh, Daryl, Video Game Daryl, if you want to check him out. Video Gamer Daryl. So it's V-I-D-E-O. G A M E R D A R Y L L. You can sub to him. He needs more subs and views. Um, two, never open sealed Bambi Special Edition, uh, Bambi 1 and Bambi 2. You can just lot those and put them straight on eBay. Um, got some sealed, never opened uh, VHS. With two, you can put them with the other ones. Um, premium grade. Don't know if that means anything. And <coughs> those are Sony and these are Fuji. High quality. Six hours. This one's probably... Yeah, six hours. So they're not like the high, high one. Um, let me put those in this box here. And uh, my friend Daryl is getting... So far, Daryl, you're getting the, the VHS, the cassettes, the Bambis, this. Um, here's what you're not getting. I got this for me. Uh, I don't really drink a lot. Um, but whenever I see booze that I, I might be willing to drink... Um, at a sale and it's never been opened I'll buy it and uh, these were 10 a piece but she gave me both for 15 um, amaretto for the wife and I'll drink the vodka just uh, mix it with a little bit of cranberry juice salsa spice something like that all right um, okay I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna edit in I'm gonna I want to talk about the marbles and then I'll do the jewelry in the next video okay this is the jewelry that um, the wife got today I honestly I know she paid three dollars for this and uh, this is nice. It's it's just a bell bracelet. There's nothing special to it. It's it's chrome. Uh, it says Marina Marino, whatever. Three dollars. This is silver though. Um, it's very light, very light. But uh, it is silver, and it has uh, something of a gold watch. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. I think she paid seventeen for this lot. And I think she paid seven. No, she paid seven and seventeen. Yeah, seven and seventeen. She paid ten for this, and this is a nice. It needs to be clean because uh, it feels rough, you know. But it's a, a cloisonné with jade bead. Let me just get down here and show it. Uh, cloisonné jade bead necklace with uh, oh gold felt. Um, the chain is gold felt. She paid 10 for that. I, I think she's going to have to really clean it up, though, because it, it felt like there's the wires are, like, gritty or corrosion. She'll probably use toothpaste and just scrub it down. Here's um, one of those... Let's see. These, this is... Let me just... It's like a double-strand uh, locket. Let me just see if I can... If I can lay it a little better. Okay. That's that's a long view of it. Hangs like this, uh, and that's a locket. Nice, nothing to it. Uh, she paid five for it. She thought it was pretty, and she'll probably sell it for like ten bucks at most, maybe twelve. Um, this is lucite. When she saw it, she was like, "Yeah, it's a little dirtier than I thought it was." But she only paid two bucks for it, and it's it's just it's very light plastic. Um, people who like light necklaces, uh, lucite and plastic, she believes she'll get like five dollars for it. So that's that. Um, okay, this slot she must have paid 17 for, and I don't really know how she broke it down. Um, this is pretty cool, and I don't see any damage. I am imagining, you know, everybody go, oh, Murano, Murano, Murano. To be honest, um, I think it's probably Japan. I could not find any hallmarks, uh, any maker's marks. Um, but as you can see, there's a little teeny glass bird. Um, that's a glass uh, bunny. Uh, a glass uh, dog, doggy. I guess this is yeah. That's a cat, glass cat. I say purple. And uh, there's another dog. So it's like two dogs, a rabbit, a bird, and a cat. Whatever. This is pretty cool. I don't know what she paid for. It. Um, here's what looks like enamel, but it's not. It's a very light plastic. Maybe celluloid pin. Not really sure. You know, if it's celluloid, that's better. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this might be for change. It says made in France. It, it has a coin on the top, so I'm assuming here. Let me just see if I can do this quick. Okay, it's taped. 
I don't know what it is. I can't open it quick. I'm not going to mess with it. All right. I thought maybe if I could open it. This is pretty cool. This is probably something I can go on eBay. Um, no one would all ever notice it at the front of it. And basically, it's a little sewing kit. See, there's a thread. There's a couple of ne needles, a thimble. And it's in the shape of a treasure chest. Uh, Italy. Okay. Uh, I don't know the value on that. She thought these were possibly jade. Again, it was part of the lot. The lady only charged her $7 for all of uh, this because my stuff, I bought the booze and everything, so mine was in the 30s. So it, all the stuff, even though it was marked more, she just gave it to us. Very inexpensive. We know the lady. She's very nice. Um, but every elephant has a broken leg or legs. That one has two. This one has one. That one has one. Um, she said the Buddhas are kind of gritty. She thinks they could be chain. I said, I, I, oh, she said on the back there's corrosion to the metal. <coughs> Maybe she can clean that up. I don't know. Uh, if they are jade, she could always just take the jade pendants off that are Buddhas and sell them, or put them on chains, you know, and sell them like five bucks a piece. There's people who want to wear small Buddha chains. I mentioned that to her, you know. You know, she doesn't want to sell as a bracelet, or she can make earrings out of it, you know. It's always something you could do with that. Um, these are articulated fish on a chain. Um, the chain is tangled with this other chain which has another articulated fish. These don't seem to be the very expensive kind. Here's another chain with another articulated fish. These are like very light, but also very bendy. Um, okay, continuing on with her joy. Oh, she got a charm bracelet, a little souvenir Paris. It would be nice if this, these are silver, but you can tell they are not. Um, but still, this is probably, if she could sell it on the flea market, I'm sure she'd sell it for like 10 bucks. Um, you know, I said it was Paris. But I, it may be New York, because that kind of looks like the Empire State Building. Uh, that looks like a coach. Oh, there's the Empire. I'm sorry, the Statue of Liberty. I guess this is City Hall. That could be a lamp. Well, it's obvious a lamp post. I don't know where to. And this looks like... Uh, an office building. I don't know. All right. Uh, she likes this kind of stuff. Gold tone jewelry. You know, she probably just bought it because she likes it. And then the last thing she bought was uh, this is kind of like a love bracelet. You know, key to my heart kind of thing. You know, or here's this is my heart. The lock. Here's the key. You got in. Okay. That's all the jewelry she got today. Um, some nice pieces. Nothing too amazing in my opinion all right um marbles i like marbles i used to collect them i had like a really nice collection um had these for 25 i bought a bunch of buckets and those two two of these which i showed before they gave me everything for 30 bucks <coughs> which made the, the other stuff would have been 12 that made these 18 okay this is busted to hell right but i'm just going to show some of the nice ones um these aren't very special, these marbles, but they're kind of a swirl. Um, ones like this, they're just swirls. Um, this would be a patch, I believe. You know, it's like a 50-50. This one's like a bumblebee, and this is a, a peewee. Uh, just a solid marble. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ones I want out of here. Like ones like this, there's a million of them. They're, they're all machine-made, nothing special. These, This is a cool slag. Probably like um, Arco Agate. This one's a good um, swirl with nice colors. These, they used to, sometimes they call this red oxblood red. Yeah. And, oh, you can see this one has a fold on it. So that means it's probably machine made with that diaper fold. Or I think they call it diaper fold. I don't know. I used to have a lot of marbles. Now I don't. This is another swirl. You'll see, like, the older ones, you'll see swirls. The solids, nobody really collects solids. They, collect, they like the ones with the swirls. The cleaner the swirl, uh, the better. Like, it, like this is a really mishmash swirl. Let's see, this one might be like a Popeye. Um, you can correct me if you know marbles. Like, you just say at the time. Uh, see, this one looks like it took a, took a hit. So this one would have very little value to a collector. Um, this is an old one, but it's been played to hell. You could see kids really played these, and they were glass, so... It's not unusual to find ones with a lot of dents and dings and missing pieces of glass. This one, again, it's missing a bit at the top. 
this is like a Vaseline kind of glass. Um, just like a mix. This this one would be kind of a swirl, but not like a, a real clean swirl. This one is what they might call a flame. People like the flame ones, and it's in pretty good condition. This is another kind of patch. Um, I used to have a really nice collection of marbles. This is no big deal. This is no big deal. This one's kind of nice, but it has some damage. Mostly what I'm going to do is take some of the marbles and then leave most of them and get my money back. I'll just take the ones I got. Okay, this one is a spiral, and it's a real nice, clean spiral. See that? You see how it starts there, and then it winds around to the other end? That's a really nice, clean spiral. Um, and, and then these are just like swirls, and or they call them slags. Uh, patches. This is a swirl. This one, I don't know. This, is, this one's weird. It's like black or whatever. Here's another uh, swirl. This is like a clear marble with, uh, sometimes they call it pulls. Pulls, like they pull a glass. Um, again, I, no, I used to really know my marbles. Now I just, I collect them for the fun. Here's a pretty one. This one's a real beauty. That's nice looking. Um, like this one, out of the lot, I would keep this one. That's no big deal. Like, I like that red and white one. I like this one, this one, this one. And then this one. Um, I forgot the name of those. And then this one. This one's my favorite, I think. All right. Out of that little batch. Yeah, again, you could see the, the ones that, that are older are the swirls. There's like a clear swirl. That would be like a patch. It's kind of opalescent. They actually, believe it or not, have names for all these marbles. So they have different ways to describe them different names like this one's pretty cool um the rest of these are relatively common that's one i don't see any common. i think i showed you i don't think there's anything in here like this is a nice one maybe this one these blues that red these oranges i mean Sometimes a marble sell for a lot of money. Um, most don't, though. Most aren't worth much. But um, that's me sharing a little bit of the info I, I, I have on marbles. Like, this one's cool. That's, that would be considered, I think, a flame. Because um, it has what looks like flame shooting out of it. Oh, and look. You can see little broken bits of glass in there. Probably from marbles getting smashed around. Um, that's what I got today. 107 is what I spent. Um, I don't think I got anything too great. I mean, you know, not complaining. Tomorrow I'm going to English Town. It's going to be bitter cold, so I don't think I'm setting up in the field. Uh, I'm like, screw that crap. Um, but I will go shop, and maybe I'll find some stuff. And I am opening the booth. Uh, I am going to be working on the booth, but I will open it. So if you want to catch me tomorrow, I'll be in Eng English Town. Sunday, you'll, I'll be in Lyndhurst. If you Lyndhurst High School, um, which is one I've done a couple of years now already. Not half bad. Uh, like I said, if you want to see me, that's where I will be.